Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. It is another week in the lovely United Kingdom. And this week, you can unlock this, the Shelby 1000, the most powerful Mustang ever made. All you have to do to unlock it is bang out a season event should be super easy. Anyways, though, before we get into that real quick, I do want to check out the Horizon backstage for the week. Oh, that's actually really, really good cars. The Hoonigan RS200 and the KTM Crossbow. With that out of the way, let's go unlock the Shelby 1000. Just like that, we bring the RTR Mustang across the line. Shelby coming around the mountain officially completed three stars across the board and there it is the shelby 1000 has been unlocked somehow this car is in a class i do not understand how that is possible if you take a look at the stats it has 900 and 20 horsepower. But I'm just saying, I think with the right customization, this is going to be unstoppable. As per usual though, this wouldn't be an AR-12 video without any fun facts, even about a Mustang with 920 horsepower. And I guess we should start it off with that. Yes, it's called the Shelby 1000 and yes, it doesn't actually have 1,000 horsepower. And that's because there were actually two versions. You could order this version of the Shelby 1000 with 920 horsepower. This one was road legal. Or you could opt for an even more powerful one that had 1,100 horsepower and wasn't allowed on the road. I'm also gonna say it wasn't really the most budget-friendly of cars because the Shelby 1000 was based off the Shelby GT500. So what you had to do to get one of these things was first purchase a Shelby GT500 for $50,000. If you wanted to turn your car into a Shelby 1000, it cost you $150,000. So uh, I'm just saying you could either have this Shelby 1000 or four GT500. Shelby made two of them for themselves and sold 21 of them. To, to real people. I, I genuinely can't tell you how expensive they are now. Probably very. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the Shelby 1000 isn't the fastest thing, considering I was beaten by a Ford Focus. Let's do some Forza Horizon 4 customization. Let me just take a look at what engine swaps we have. So, we've got our one... our 1000 horsepower, or a 7.2 liter V8 engine with 1,000 horsepower. Yeah, this is gonna be a very, very powerful, nearly 2,000 horsepower Mustang. Twitch chat is yelling at me to build this thing into a drag car. I feel like before we get into drag racing, maybe we should actually turn this first into an S1 class power build. Basically tossing as much horsepower into this car that we can and just crossing our fingers that we can race it properly. We're gonna toss in our 1,000 horsepower formula drift engine and then toss in twin turbos. I'm about to toss on 700 more horsepower. My class goes down by one PI. We can get some front splitters on the car, which I am probably gonna want to go with. No way, we can actually go no wing. That actually looks pretty good. Anyways, I apologize for this build. I am gonna toss on the big bad rear wing. Ooh, ooh, look at that hood. That hood is so sick. No way, I can actually get race tires on this. We also have some engine spacers. That looks fantastic, actually, in the rear as well. Oh, man. We can get race suspension, rally suspension, and even drift suspension. Yeah, we're gonna come back to that in a moment. Race suspension for now. All right. So now it's no longer the Shelby 1000. It is the Shelby 
2,000. I, I like it. We weigh 3,200 pounds. We nearly have 1,900 horsepower. I do apologize every time I use this engine because it is really loud. I mean, that's kind of just what happens when you're a formula drift car. The Shelby 2000. Can you please now beat a little Ford Focus? Now, I don't have all-wheel drive, so th this is, yeah, this is going to happen quite a bit until we actually get some grip. But I'm really hoping that big rear wing allows me to go through the corners. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I restart. I'm putting traction control on. I would like to apologize to Carol Shelby for... How did it do a burnout with traction control on? Oh, this is a thousand times better. I have improved this car drastically. This is amazing. Look at it. The Shelby 1000 is unfair. This thing is so sick. I did not expect this to work this well. Like, we're actually able to drive it and race it properly. As it turns out, the Shelby 1000... Oh my god, look at the speed. Get around the corner. That's 200 miles an hour. Yeah, see you later, AI. You're not keeping up with that thing. Not a chance. Absolutely unbelievable, Shelby 1000. Based off how fast that was, I think now... We need to turn this into a Shelby 1000 drag car. If we're gonna turn this thing into a drag car, we are gonna say goodbye to our front splitter, goodbye to our rear wing. We will also go try hard mode and toss on all wheel drive. Now we weigh less than 3000 pounds, the exact same horsepower. This thing's gonna be insanely fast, scary. Let's just see what it can do. My prediction, 7.5, 7.6 seconds roughly. Yo, that sound is insane. And 200 miles an hour across the line. I feel like this thing actually has some pretty decent potential to actually be raced pretty quickly. So why don't we try one more race car build fully maxed out? And then I promise we'll come back and do some drifting stuff, okay? I want to try racing it with all-wheel drive. I've got my Horizon race tire compound, fully thick tires. We are X-Class for the Shelby 1000. Let's see what the Shelby 1000 can do in X-Class. That's a Pagani. Okay, and we've just literally driven past him like he was nothing. Okay, but give me a moment to get onto a straight with this thing. Yep, yep. Oh my god, is it fast. Who needs VTEC when you have 1,900 horsepower? Reel him in. Reel him in on the highway, buddy. Just smash it straight through. <laughs> what a move. Up the end. Oh, turn, turn. Thank you. <laughs> it's not the clean. Okay, well... It's not exactly how I planned on going through the corner, but it did work. This Mustang is actually scary. Unbelievable vehicle. Come on, Mustang. Round the fuck. No! 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 You understeery dickhead! You absolute spoon! Oh yeah, drive a Mustang, they said. It would be so much fun, they said. Stupid corners. I hate corners. I hate corners. I hate corners. We're just gonna forget that that ever happened and I'm gonna go and drift this thing. You can't give me a car that nearly has 2,000 horsepower and not expect me to drift it. You know what? I'm, I'm even gonna go rear wheel drive because I want to embrace the chaos. Seems like my top speed is gonna be interesting. Apparently, I don't even have brakes on my vehicle. If I'm gonna go drifting, I'm gonna do it in the right looking car. I think it's safe to say I'm gonna be able to drift a 2,000 horsepower Mustang. Wait, wait, wait. Everybody's yelling at me to check out the Forza-thon shop. Hold on. Ooh, that is an amazing car. But you know what's even better of a car? This thing, the Baja truck. That is a very OP vehicle in Forza Horizon 4. I highly suggest you pick that up. The Shelby 1000 is the vehicle that can do everything. Like, we were actually really good at racing, like, a thousand times better than I would have expected us to be. 
We were amazing at drag racing, even with my terrible tune. I would not be a surprise to see some sub seven second time. And then at the end of the day, I've got nearly 2000 horsepower. Of course it's gonna drift like a madman. I've come over to Lego Valley because I'm wondering if we actually go try hard with the Shelby 1000, can I take down some of my personal best? I'm gonna go with godlike drifting for this. How about this for a drift zone? 163,000 points. Shelby 1000. In we go. We need some serious angle out of- No, it's gonna do it first attempt. Okay, uh, why did I even doubt it? It's literally already, like, done. Watch this. 140,000, 150, 160, 170, and 180, 190, nearly 200 pounds. Drift zone number one. That was easy enough. Why don't we come out to this one? 150,000. All right, and in, Shelby. Let's go, bud. Come on, send it through. You've got enough horsepower. Horsepower is not an excuse for today. You might almost have too much horsepower to get it around here. Come on. Come on. Oh, I might need more speed. I might need a lot more speed. Come on. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Let's go. Let's go. Shelby 1000. Two for two. Can we go three for three? 160,000 points. 160,000 points. Can we make it three for three in the Shelby 1000? Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. What a lovely car. Lo no, no. Keep it going. Come on. Come on. Come on, Shelby. 130. Keep it going. 150. No way. No way. This car is truly something else. 200,000. What? What? Going three for three on Lego Valley with the Shelby 1000 is unreal. That is the Shelby 1000 for Forza Horizon 4. Don't forget, next week, we are checking out Forza Horizon 4 Steam Edition. That should be super, super cool. If you want to see that, make sure you follow along to get notified as soon as that's available.